同学，大家好，我是黄雅玲，欢迎收看今天的英语绘画 English Conversation 第十五讲日常生活对话十四的转播。那我们今天要讲授的内容呢，同样还是分成两次对话。那我们要讲的东西呢？那当然呢，还是说跟这个旅游有关。可是我们今天要讲的是出国旅游的部分。那我们的对话内容呢，还是一样会用短句的方式来秀给各位同学看。当然，在开始之前，我们还是要回来先看一下我们的单字到底要讲哪一些。在知道了单字的意思之后呢，当我们在快看我们对话的时候，其实可以比较快清楚的知道内容在说些什么。那我们现在先来看看我们第一个会使用到的单字。OK， 第一个我们要讲到是 glad。Glad, 形容词，高兴的。来看一下它的例句。I was glad about the news. 听到那个消息，我很高兴。I was glad about the news. 再来再看下一个，第二个字我们要讲到的呢，则是这个字 prepared. Prepared, 形容词，有准备的。来看一下它的例句。他说 ，We are prepared for any natural disaster. We are prepared for any natural disaster. 我们已经做好面对天灾的任何准备了。接下来我们再继续往下看下去，看到下一个单字。下一个呢，我们要讲到的是 neat, neat。这是一个很美式用到的口语的部分，它叫美妙的、很棒的 neat。平常我们都说这个字叫整洁的，可是，在口语上它叫做是美妙的、很棒的。我们来看一下例句。Well, the party was really neat. We had good fun. 他说啊，这个聚会真的太棒了 ，very neat, really neat. 我们都玩得很开心。这是在于 neat 口语的一个用法的特色不一样的地方。再来，我们继续往下看到下一个单字呢，我们要讲到的是 tempt, tempt， 动词，诱惑。来看一下它的例句。他说 ，She tempted Tom to buy the car for her. She tempted Tom to buy the car for her to buy something for someone. 为了什么样买什么东西给某个人，他就是他诱使是 tempt Tom 买车给他。那我们再看我们下一个单字，下一个我们要讲到的字呢是 awake， awake 形容词，清醒的。来看一下它的例句 ：He lay awake in his bed. He lay awake in his bed. 他是醒着，但是他躺在床上赖着不起床。好，我们单字呢先讲到这个地方告一个段落。我们现在来看一下我们的 VCR。看完了 VCR 之后呢，我们再来解释内容。I'm so glad you get to go with me to America and meet my family and friends. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've never even been outside of Taiwan before, and I'm now going to America with you. Flight SQ320 to Los Angeles will begin boarding in 20 minutes. You you need to prepare your ticket and passport ready before we get up the boarding gate. I'm just glad I got my visa in time. That was a nerve-wracking experience. I thought the interview at AIT would be very scary, but since you helped me to be well prepared, I passed with flying colors. This plane is really huge. How long will it take us to fly to LA? Anywhere from 12 to 14 hours. It just depends on the wind and the weather. I'm just so glad it's a non-stop flight. Hopefully, we can get some sleep. I'm too excited to go to sleep. I'm on my way to America. What is really neat is the fact that we will land before we left. Huh? I don't get it. We left Taiwan on June 17th at 11 p.m., but when we land in LA, it will still be June 17th, but only around 8 p.m. America has different time zones, and California is about three hours behind New York. Do you understand? Now I get what you're trying to say. While you get some sleep, I'm going to watch some movies. They have a great selections playing on the flight. Are you trying to tempt me into staying awake to watch movies all the way to LA? Is it working? <laughs> Does the one on Channel Four sounds good to you? That that was the same one I was going to pick. Too bad we don't have any popcorn. After two meals, five movies, and four TV sitcoms, we finally made it. It sure feels good to get off that airplane. Don't get too excited. We still need to change plane and fly to Pittsburgh. 好，看完了短剧之后，不知道同学清不清楚刚刚短剧中到底说了些什么？不清楚的话也没有关系，因为我们现在呢会一句一句拆开来看。
。现在看看，首先两个人在对话 ，Jennifer 就说、oh, ，I'm so glad you get to come with me to America and meet my family and friends。他说，真高兴你能跟我一起去美国看我的家人朋友们。Then Jenny said, "Yeah, I'm so excited. I've never even been outside of Taiwan, and now I'm going to America with you." He said, "Yes, I'm very happy. I've never been outside of Taiwan. Now I'm going to America with you." This I've never been outside of Taiwan. We're going to take a break. We're going to talk about the past. 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 A 曾经去过这个地方，但是他现在并没有在那里。来看一个例句会比较清楚一点。For example, I have been to Taipei. 我曾经去过台北，可是我只是去玩待的时间并不长，我马上就回来了。那常跟 have been to 搞混的叫做是 have gone to。他说 A have gone to somewhere. A 曾经去过某地，但是呢，他跟 have been to 的不一样点是在于他现在还是依然待在那个地方。So, for example, 来看下面这个例句啊，提到说 ，I have gone to Taipei. 我曾经去过台北，而且我现在依然还住在台北哦。好，我们再回到我们对话的部分来看一下。这时候突然有一个 announcer 出现了，他说 ，Flight SQ320 to Los Angeles will begin boarding in 20 minutes. 他说，哎，搭乘 SQ320 班机前往洛杉矶的旅客请注意，二十分钟后将开始开放登机。Then Jennifer said. Oh, you need to have your passport and ticket ready before you get off the boarding gate. 他说，那你在进入登机门之前呢，必须先把你的护照跟你的机票都准备好。那我们今天呢，正好讲到就是跟搭飞机有关的，所以我来做一点补充，关于我们搭飞机有关的这一些字。搭飞机很多东西是类似 ，for example， 第一个我们讲到 waiting room 候机室 ，boarding gate 登机门。Boarding card or boarding pass, 登机证。Check-in counter, 登机报道柜台。Counter 就是指柜台的意思。在 baggage tag, 行李标签。Baggage claim, 提取行李。Security check, 手提行李安全检查。Security 这个字叫做是安全安全性的，所以它其实是一个安全检查的部分。Security check. 再再往下继续看下去，下面讲的是 customs inspection， 并不是传统这里的 customs 指的是海关，所以是海关检查的部分。inspection 这个字有检查、调查的意思存在。我们再继续往下看下去呢，会看到一个 luggage cart。cart 的呢是指那种车厢、火车的车厢，或者是我们在购物的时候推的那个推车。那这里的 luggage cart 呢，指的就是方便推行李的推车。再继续往下看下去，还有像是 immigration 出入境，移民局就叫做是 immigration。还有呢，继续往下看下去，会看到 customs 海关的一个手续。那其实呢，很多时候我们的海关注意到它是大写，但是在这种讲手续的时候，有时候我们也是会以小写的方式来做一个表示。customs 海关手续 ，passport control 出境审查 ，carry on luggage 手提行李。你是可以提着就跑了的行李，就叫做是 carry on luggage， 当然就是所谓的手提行李。再继续往下，我们在机场都会看到这个东西，这叫 shuttle bus， 机场接驳车，它会带着你跑来跑去，内部在跑的 shuttle bus。再继续往下看下去，还有看到一个 metal detector， 金属探测器 ，metal detector，metal 是我们的金属。再来呢是 luggage carousel， 行李输送带。Luggage 呢，跟 baggage 都叫做是行李的部分。那我们再继续往下看下去，还会看到所谓的 duty free shop 免税商店 duty free shop。再继续往下看下去，跟我们这个机场有关，像是 visa 签证，出国的时候开始会需要这种东西的签证 visa。还有呢，像是说 customs or immigration form 海关或出入境申报单，我们每次入境出入境前都必须要填写这种东西 customs or immigration form。再来呢，讲到飞机的时候，就会分舱等啦 ，economy class 经济舱 ，business class 商务舱，下面当然还有所谓的 first class 头等舱。接下来我们总是会有这个直飞，或者是需要中途停留的飞机，直飞就叫做是一个 direct flight， 直飞直接飞行的部分。最后呢，我们讲到的是中途停留叫 stop over。Stop， 停一下，再继续，重新再启动，中途停留一下。Stop over。好，那我们讲到这个地方呢，先休息一下，等一下回来来看一下我们的对话。欢
迎回来。那我们再回来继续看我们的对话的部分。那 Jenny 就说了，啊、oh, ， I'm just really glad I got my visa in time. That was really a nerve-wracking experience. 他说，我真的相当庆幸我可以及时拿到我的签证，这真的是一个让人非常紧张的经验呢。这个经验 experience， 我们来给他做一个补充。当他接到不一样的介系词的时候，是不是他有不同的意思呢？先来看一下第一个 experience in 加 i n 的时候呢，指的是在某方面的经验。来看例句会比较清楚。他说 ，I've some experiences in fashion design， 但这里的经验指的是别人做，自己可能在旁边帮一点点小忙，或者是稍微参与一下而已。这叫做 experience in， 后面会接上一个呃领域或者是一个区块，这样一件事情。但是如果我们接的是 of 的这个介系词的时候呢 ，experience of 叫做是属于什么的经验？这里呢其实比较强调是你自己深深。真正去拥有过的一个经验 ，for example, I have some experiences of fashion design. 这里呢，就是表示全部都是你自己做的了。再做一个补充，我们常常讲谚语说，这个经验乃智慧之母啊，它就叫做是 experience is the mother of wisdom. Experience is the mother of wisdom. 可以考虑把它背起来，其实很好用到。再我们来继续往下看下去，这时候它又继续讲到啦。I thought the interview at EIT would be really scary, but since you helped me to be well prepared, I passed with flying colors. 他说原本还以为这个面试一定很可怕，可是因为你已经帮我 well prepared 做了完善的准备，所以其实呢，我很轻松的就已经通过了，没有什么问题。那他们现在开始登机了。登机后之后 ，Jenny 就说啦，哇 ，this plane is really huge. 这班飞机真的好大。How long will it take us to fly to LA? 他说，那我们飞到旧金山究竟要多长的时间呢 ？Jennifer said, anywhere from 12 to 14 hours. It just depends on the wind and weather. s、uh, I'm just glad it is a non-stop flight. Hopefully, we can get some sleep. 他其实就是讲说，大概是十二到十四个小时不等的时间。那这当然是取决于说当天的风向啊 ，the wind and the weather 跟天气如何。他也很开心地说：“幸好这是一个 non-stop flight， 这是一个直飞的飞机，也希望我们可以好好休息一下。”那再来呢 ？Jenny 又继续讲到说：“哦、oh, ，I'm too excited to go to sleep. I'm on my way to America.” 他说：“我太兴奋了，根本睡不着耶！我现在正在前往美国的路上。” Then Jennifer said, “What is really neat is the fact that we land before we left.” 他说啊，拜托，最有趣的事情是我们到美国的时间会比我们起飞时间还早哦。Jenny 有点不了解，他说哈、huh? ，I don't get it, I don't understand， 我听不懂哎。Then Jennifer said, "We left Taiwan on June 17th at 11 p.m., but when we land in LA, it will be still in June 17th, and it will only be about 8 p.m." 我们呢是在这个六月十七号晚上离开的。那当我们到旧金山的时候，其实还是六月十七号，而且呢，大概是八点左右哦。我们是十一点晚上十一点的飞机，但我们到时候可能才晚上八点。再我们继续往下看，他说 ，America had different time zones， and California is three hours behind New York。Do you understand？ 他说，其实因为美国呢有许多不同的时区，那加州呢大概会比我们的纽约慢三个小时。这样你懂了吗 ？Then Jenny said。Now I get what you're trying to say. 他说这样我懂你要表达是什么意思了。So while you get some sleep, I'm going to watch some movies. They have some really great selections playing on this flight. 他说其实你休息的时候呢，有准备看几部电影。这部飞机上面呢有好几部电影，好棒，可以选择。哎 ，The Jennifer said, "Are you trying to tempt me into stay, staying awake to watch movies all the way to LA?" 他说是在鼓吹我保持清醒的看几部电影吗？这个 tempt 叫做引诱、诱惑，我们来对它稍微做一个补充。其实 tempt 这个字呢，我们一般来讲在看的时候，第一种讲法是 to entice or allure to do something often regarded as unwise, wrong or immoral。其实它是指说引诱或勾引某人去做某件事情，那这件事情呢，可能通常都不是太好的事情。来看一下例句，他说 ，What tempted Arthur to steal the watch？ 到底是什么诱使 Arthur 去偷这只表呢？再我们继续往下看下去，其实那后面第二个讲到的是呢 ，to attract or to appeal strongly to or invite， 
，也是指吸引或打动的意思。这个 tempt 在这里是指吸引、打动的意思。来看一下例句，他说 ：“The offer tempts me。”这项优惠呢，令我心动。就是在于 tempt 当心动的时候，但是呢， tempt 还有其他的意思，像是 to render strongly disposed to do something， 就是无法克制想要去做某件事情，而且你不管怎么样，你都没有办法克制自己的情绪。来看一下例句，他说 the book tempted me to read more on the subject， 这本书使我想要知道更多的相关知识，那引发了你的求知欲，就 tempt。再来呢，其实再继续往下，还有所谓的 to put somebody to the test in a venturesome way， 是指冒什么样的险的意思。To put somebody to the test in a venturesome way， 来看一下例句。他说 ，His play sometimes tempted death。他打起球来有时候真像玩命，好像是很危险这样子。OK， 我们再继续一直往下看下去，还会看到说是 to provoke somebody to do wrong， especially by promising a reward， 是以利益呢诱使他人做某些不被允许的事情。For example， she tempted me to eat the fish， 她诱使我吃鱼，但是我可能吃鱼会全身过敏之类的，或者是会发生不好的事情。她引诱我吃鱼，这是 tempt 的部分。那在我们看到第六个 tempt 还有这个解释叫做是 to attract or to allure， 叫吸引或者是引诱的意思，会让你心痒痒的、心动了的感觉。来看一个例句，他说 ，its glossy skin tempted me， 那光滑的肌肤呢令我心动，就觉得好棒，这样子很光滑。glossy 是指说光滑有有光泽、有亮度的一种皮肤。好，我们再回到对话的部分，刚刚他就问了说，呃。Are you trying to tempt me? 你是试图要诱惑我吗 ？Jenny 就说啦，哎 ，Is it working? 那有用吗 ？Then Jennifer said, "Does the one on Channel Four sound good to you?" 她说，那你觉得第四频道那部感觉怎么样呢 ？Jenny was a little surprised. She said, "That is the same one that I was going to pick too." Ah,、oh, too bad we don't have any popcorn. 她说，这也是我准备要看的那部电影哎，真可惜我们没有爆米花可以吃。So. After the flight for twelve and a half a half hours later, 那么飞了十二个多小时之后呢 ？Jennifer said, "After two meals, five movies, and for TV, the set comes. We finally met it." 他说，经过两餐、五部电影，还有四个电视节目之后，我们终于到美国了。Then Jenny said, "It sure feels good to get off that airplane." 等到下飞机的时候，感觉一定非常棒吧 ？Jennifer said. Don't get too excited. We still need to exchange plans and fly to Pittsburgh. 好，不要太兴奋哦，我们等一下还要转机呢。好，那其实经过这样的解释呢，想同学应该会更深刻了解到我们这个第一个对话要在讲什么东西。那我们现在先休息一下，等一下回来看我们的第二则对话。欢迎回来。那我们刚刚呢，把我们的第一则对话讲完了。现在我们要来看一下我们第二则对话。同样的，还是要先来看一下我们前面会用到哪些单字。现在看看我们第一个单字的部分。第一个呢，我们讲到是 custom， custom 名词，一般而言都叫做是社会团体等等的习俗或者是惯例。那除此之外，当它是大写的时候呢，它是永久当做是我们的海关来使用。我们来看一下例句。The celebration of Christmas is a custom. The celebration of Christmas is a custom. 庆祝圣诞节是一种风俗。再来再看一个例句。Did you have any trouble with the customs? How did you have any trouble with the customs? 你过海关的时候有没有遇到什么问题？有没有遇到什么麻烦呢？再我们再继续往下看到下一个单字的部分。下一个单字呢，我们要讲到的是 nervous. Nervous 形容词，紧张的。来看一下例句。Don't be nervous. You are well prepared. 他说：“别紧张，你已经做好万全的准备啦。”Don't be nervous. 别紧张，别担心。You're well prepared. 已经完全都准备好了。再我们继续往下看到下一个单字的部分。下一个呢，我们要讲到是 declare。declare 动词，申报。这申报呢，是主要是申报所谓纳税品之类的这个东西，就是用来在跟飞机机场有关的时候特别使用到的一个字。我们来看一下我们的例句。I have nothing to declare. 我没有什么东西要申报的。I have nothing to declare. 在下面呢，我们会看到下一个单字呢。我们要讲到的这个字是 process. 
process， 它是个名词，叫做是过程。我们来看一下我们的例句，例句说 ，I will tell you sooner or later all the complicated process。这个 sooner or later 呢，是指说早晚、迟早的意思。所以他说 ，I will tell you sooner or later。早晚呢，我都要将这整个 complicated process 复杂的过程、复杂的情况告诉你的。再，我们继续往下看到我们下一个单字的部分。下一个单字呢，我们要讲到的是 lock， lock， 动词使力拉、用力拉的意思。lock， 那你会发现它的中文跟英文其实还蛮接近 lock 拉。来看一下我们的例句。I had to lock ten books to school every day. 我每天呢得带十本书上学。好，单词部分呢，我们先讲到这个地方，告一个段落。我们现在一起来看一下我们的 VCR. Now we need to go through customs. We'll need to be in different lines, but don't be nervous. I will have to go to the line for American citizens, and you'll have to line up under the sign for foreign passports. I'll meet you on the other side. I'm glad that part is over. Now we need to get our luggage, right? Yes. Now we have to go through the second part of customs. They need to know if you have anything to declare. We don't have anything to declare, so this will be a fast process. After we walk through the double doors, we will need to go to the right. If you go to the left, it will take you onto the streets, where you'll have to recheck your suitcases. We need to pass security before we exit the building. I'm so glad. I thought we'll have to lug those all the way to the next gate. Do we need to ride one of the trams? No. I like the walk in the fresh air after being stuck on an airplane for so long. Should we get something to eat before we board the plane? Definitely. Most intercontinental flights in America don't give you anything to eat. If you're really lucky, you might get a tiny bag of pretzels and a drink. There's only one pillow and one suitcase per row. Sometimes even less than that. One more thing: if you want to watch a film, you have to pay five dollars. It's very different from flying in Asia. I got a sandwich, a drink, and a cookie when I flew to the Philippines, and it's only a 45-minute flight. How long will this flight take? It will take a little more than four hours. They may not play a movie tonight. Although it's daytime for us here, it's 1:30 a.m. I think this is a good flight to sleep for several hours. I'm just glad you told me to keep a jacket in my carry-on. It's really cold in here. Thank you for flying with us. The local time is 6:30 a.m. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. I can't believe I slept the whole way here. I'm just tired of flying. I hope my brother's not late. He's coming to pick us up at the airport, and after an hour and a half drive, I'll be home. It was such a long trip. Yeah, it really was. 好，看完了短句之后，不知道各位同学有没有清楚刚刚短句中到底说了些什么呢？不清楚的话也没有关系，我们现在也是会来看看到底他们在聊些什么东西。所以其实你会看到他们下飞机之后 ，Jennifer 就说了啊、oh, ，Now we need to go through customs. 所以我们现在要先通过海关。We will need to be in different lines, but don't be nervous. I have to get into the line for American citizens. 他说我们必须要排在不同行列，但你不要太紧张。Don't be nervous. 他说我必须要去排这个美国市民的那个窗口。And you need to line up under the sign for foreign passports. I will wait for you on the other side. 他说你必须要去这个外国护照的那个窗口排队。可是不要紧张，我会在对面等你的。Then Jenny said. I'm glad that the part is over. Now we need to get our luggage, right? 他说那啊，真高兴那个部分已经结束，所以我们现在必须要去领取行李，是吗 ？Then Jennifer said yes. Then we have to go through the second part of customs. 接下来我们要通过第二道海关了，这个就是要申报违禁品的部分。They want to know if you have anything to declare. We don't need to declare anything, so it will be a fast process. 他说：“他们其实只是想要知道你有没有东西要申报。那因为我们没有东西要申报，所以我们可以很快速的通过。”来看一下 “declare” 的一个补充的部分。“declare” 这个字呢，我们一般而言可以把它当做是声明的部分。我们说 “to announce officially or proclaim” 声明。For example, we declared for their proposal. 我们声明赞成他们的建议。好，我们来看第二个呢，他讲的是 to state emphatically， 这叫断言的意思，很武断的下了什么样的决定，我们也可以用 
这个 declare 这个字来做一个声明。好，我们来看个例句比较清楚。他说 ，He declared that the allegation was a lie. 他断言这项申诉是谎言。他是很武断的做了这个决定的。再来看一个例句。好，假如说呢。这个 to manifest, reveal, show. 其实呢，我们也是叫做是宣告、显露的意思。For example, her attendance at the rally declared her political elegance. 她在该几位的露脸呢，也表明了她的一个政治立场的部分。那其实呢 ，declare 除了这几种讲法之外，还有我们今天课本上用到的这个申报的部分 ，to make due statement of goods for duty or income for taxation， 申报纳税品等等的东西，在我们这个搭飞机的时候过海关会需要用到的。来看例句 ，I have nothing to declare， 我没有什么要申报的。好，我们来看一下。其实稍微做一个补充 ，declare 呢，一般而言是指比较正式的那种声明或者是宣告，常用在法人或者是政府的宣告当中。那我们常听到这个宣告的这个 announce 呢，其实是只是宣布的意思，就像是主席或者主持人要宣布一件事情的时候，我们会使用到 announce 这个字。再来，还有像是 state， 它比较像是陈述声明，你是想要表明自己的立场、阐述自己的立场的时候，我们可以用到 state 这个字。那我们再回到对话里面继续来看。他说 ，After we get through the double doors, we need to go to the right. If you go to the left, it will take you out in the street, and then you need to recheck your suitcases. 他说，穿过这个门之后呢，我们必须要走右边哦。如果你走左边的话，会去到外面，那你必须要再重新检查一次行李。We will turn ours back into security before we exit the building. 我们在离开这栋大楼之前，必须先通过一个安检。好，再来 ，Jenny 就继续讲到说 ，I'm so glad. I thought we were going to have to walk those all the way to our next gate. Do we need to ride one of the trams? 他说，我还以为我们必须要拖着这些行李一直走到下一个登机口。哎，他问说，那要不要搭 tram？ 要搭这个接驳车呢 ？Jennifer said, No, I never do. I enjoy the walk and the fresh air after being stuck on an airplane for so long. 他说：“我从来没有这么做过。我喜欢这样子呼吸新鲜的空气，然后一边散步过去。” Then Jenny asked, "Should we get something to eat before we board the plane?" 他说：“那上飞机之前，我们是不是应该先吃点东西垫垫胃啊？” Then Jennifer said, "Definitely. Most intercontinental flights in America don't give you anything to eat, but if you are really lucky, you might get a tiny bag of pretzels and a drink." 他说：“当然要吃啦，大部分这种小飞机呢不会准备任何的食物。幸运的呢，可能会得到一包饼干或者是饮料。There is only one pillow and one blanket per row. Sometimes even less than that. 事实上，一排座椅呢，它可能只给你一个枕头或一条毛毯而已。有时候甚至根本什么都没有。Less than that. One more thing. If you want to watch the movie, you need to pay five U.S. dollars.” 如果你想要看电影的话，你还必须要额外多付五块美金哦。It is a lot different than flying in Asia. I had a sandwich with juice and a cookie when I flew to the Philippines, and it was only a 45 minutes flight. 那其实这跟在亚洲飞行是完全不一样的。好，那我们今天的课呢就讲到这个地方告一个段落了。我们下个礼拜呢要讲的是第十六讲的部分，我们下周见啊，拜拜。